Today's project on the Audi S3, RS3 style grill. So I got the wheels off already. If you don't know how to take the wheels off, then this video will probably be a bit beyond you, but it is pretty simple. It's only a few, a few Torx screws to undo here and there. So let's get started. Okay, we'll start by undoing some of these things in the guards. We got a T25 Torx bit in our drill. We just need to undo one, two, three, and that way we can get in behind because there's a couple bolts there. So let's pull these out. It's identical for the other side. Okay, now we're climbing into the front of the car and we gotta take off the under tray. So we've got a few screws here, same size at T25. So one, two, don't know if this needs to come off as well. Pull it off too because we take the under tray off. Like that one. one back here. A little. And then we do the same. Come along. Right in the middle. There's a few more, there's one here. That's a much bigger one. One in the middle. And then the exact same for the other side. We'll take all those out now too. All right, pull back the guard inner guard liner and you see let me see it there see that that's got to come undone so we're gonna reach in there undo that and we undo this one it's right at the front see it's another Torx there uh, do that on both sides and then uh, we'll go on to the next step I just can't film this and do that at the same time so we'll uh, finish it up and we'll get back in a sec. Okay, to get all the way in there, now that's a, that one in the back and that one in the corner here, they're a T30, so you need the larger socket. And I've got a ratchet with a bunch of extensions. And I'll try to, try to do this with one hand. I couldn't get all the way in there with one hand in film, but it was uh, real easy. You can see the hole there in the back. Focus. And then uh, now we're gonna be doing this one here. So I got the T30 in there and the ratchet and we'll just pull it off. So that's, that's not bad. It was actually hardly held in at all. So now on top, again with the T30, got the long extension in. So we got one here. One here. One here. So take those three out. Big washers. Okay, so it's just an easy, just give it a little tug and a wiggle, and she comes off. Now, important to have a towel here to catch it and to put it on. You don't want to hit in the ground and scratching. There we go. Now, there's lots of connections to undo. There's hoses for the headlight washer and for the 
whole bunch of stuff. So we'll get get to undoing these. Pretty easy once it's down. There's one connector over here, which is just a simple just push up on the clip and it comes out. And this car, we've got the headlight washers, so we got to disconnect that. So I got a bucket to catch it, and we're just gonna twist the tube and hopefully just pull it off. It should come off nice and easy, but I'm gonna need two hands for it. Okay, with the bucket there to catch the water from the headlight washer, we are disconnected. So we'll pick it up. There's a bit of, little bit of dirt you can hear rattling around, so we'll take it out and give it a shake. And then we got to come in, and that crash bar has to be painted black. Otherwise, you just stands out like dog's balls. Just so we'll uh, mask off a little bit and give it a little touch up in some satin black paint. Ready to roll for uh, reinstallation. So we got the wax and grease remover, some paper towel, and that's the crash bar. We got some satin black. We'll spray it up in a few minutes. But we've got to clean it up first, so. Let's get prepping. Pretty dirty. Never been cleaned under here, of course. Okay, it's just got a light layer of satin black. We'll let that dry and give it another coat. And in the meantime, we'll start unscrewing all these screws. These are all T25s around. And then we'll gently remove all these clips uh and see how that goes and undo the parking sensors because they sensors because they have to be mounted to the those two sensors have to be going onto the new grill as well let's get the drill and get started don't push too hard on it Two more on the other side. And then we gotta start the clips. Where are the clips? Pulled out the parking sensors, so the wires were easy enough. There's just a little clip to gray clip to pull out, and then they come straight off. And then the sensors are only held in with this and this little tab. So pushing from the other side while kind of wiggling those up, uh, and they come right off. So we're gonna while that's off, we're just going to reinstall this one into the new grill. It should just go straight down in, and there's little matching clips on this, just like the factory one. We're nice and easy. Now this new grill is a bit brittle, so it is really slow and steady while you're putting them in. Uh, wiggle, 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 and just try to trying not to force it, trying to get it in there. But yeah, both sides went on. Nice and simple. Now we're gonna pull the old grill out of here and put the new one in. So getting this grill off is not easy. So there's clips here, there's another hidden screw there, took that out, and these ones here. So I've been going around trying to push them and pry them with the screwdriver at the same time as pulling, so they're kind of jamming half out, but uh, it's definitely not easy. Uh, tough on the fingers, it's a, maybe a two-man job would be a much simpler. But with one, it's uh, hard going, so we'll keep at it and keep pulling. Okay, grill is out. Took a lot more work than I thought. Had to undo the section for the little lower air dam first, and take out, we'll take that off. That's it there, still connected by some wiring. And there is the grill out. So we'll take that lower air dam section off this, attach it to that, push it back onto that. Should go back together nice and easy, it just clips in. But getting those clips out is not easy. Okay, got the lower piece snapped on there, easy. That went on real quick. Okay, now we'll just position this up and push it into place. Not something I can do with two hands, one with one hand, but we'll uh, it'll be going in easy. Just clips right on. After working my way around a few times, clip, 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 clip. It's all in went in together way easier than it came apart. Okay, I've just wiggled and jiggled and put the new, put the bumper on with the RS3 grill. And I've also got the new front lip on there. 
So pretty easy to put back on, just line it up, push these little pegs that goes in, put the bolts in. I put the top bolts in, these two, just to make it easier to line everything up as it's, uh, the rest of it goes in. So yeah, that looks, looks pretty good. That's my first time seeing it as well. So look forward to we'll put the wheels on, drop it down, put all the screws back in and good to go. Yeah, very happy with that. Not bad for the cheapest one on eBay. Wheels are on, back on the ground, grill on, lip on. Nice. That's what I was looking for in this car. It was looking a bit plain Jane, but now it's just that little bit subtly aggressive. That lip makes a massive difference, so. Easy, flow design lip, and the cheapest eBay RS3 grill I could find. Now to work out how to get my number plate on there. Probably just cable tie. It came with the big Euro style holder, but I don't have a Euro plate, so. Cable ties, it is. Black cable ties, be fine.